R-V-B-N, The Rich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great sports video blogs, great MBTA video blogs, and a whole lot more. Collection of my work goes back to June of 2014 on various social media websites, R-V-B-N. The only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now is 5.10 in the afternoon, Dalica, Massachusetts. It's Monday, May 15th, 2017. It's about 57 degrees out right now under mostly cloudy skies. Some rain showers today, but this is the last day of the rain. And we're going to go to a warm-up beginning Tuesday, 70s. Wednesday, 80s. And some places on Thursday, 90s. But back to average temperatures in the weekend. Hopefully we don't go into another damp and dreary pattern. Some news to report on the IVBN News. Why, do, 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 do. It's Happy National Stockings Day. It's Happy National Chocolate Co- um, Chip day and it's happy national peace off officers day so there's a lot of happy national stuff today and that's about it on news from the rvbn news i do 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 be back in a flash with my second video blog subject tonight which will be about sci-fi which is the cable network owned by nbc universal first hear this the Lawn Ranger theme song. Maybe soon I'll do a, a video blog about the Lawn Ranger television series. Stay tuned. I'm back. My second video blog subject of the day is about the cable network Sci-Fi. Sci-Fi is owned by NBC Universal. Oh, and it's it shows a lot of original um, television series that deals with science fiction and fantasy and horror and it also has a lot of reality shows and a lot of made for TV um, movies and some theatrical movies. The Sci-Fi Channel was actually um, the concept of it started in 1989 by an attorney named M- Mitchell Rubens- um, son Rubenstein and his wife Laurie, and they wanted to have made um launch a cable network devoted to science fiction, having a lot of classic television science fiction series and some movies and plus some original programming. And they were going to launch it in December of 1990, but Mitchell and Lolly had no financial backing by any major company, no entertainment company, company or no deep pockets from corporations so they had to shelve that plan indefinitely and it never got off the ground for them in may of 1992 the usa network in association with paramount pictures picked up the concept of the sci-fi um, network and they called it Sci-Fi Channel which debuted on September 24th, 1992. It was a joint venture with USA Network and Paramount Pictures and it had um, what was in the Universal Television Library for classic science fiction shows like Battlestar Galactica, Buck Rogers in the 25th Century, Night Gallery, Six Million Dollar Man, I'm Bionic Woman, plus a lot of the Frankenstein movies of the 30s and 40s, and a lot of science fiction movies from Palmont, including the Star Trek movies, and also they had the Back to the Future trilogy, sci-fi acquired some shows and movies from 20th Century Fox, including Land of the Giants, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, 
um, the Time Tunnel, the Land of Giants, and the Star Wars Trilogy. And at first, Sci-Fi Channel was on very few cable systems, but it picked up traction when they got reruns of the Twilight Zone and kind of added some more movies and some original content having a sci-fi buzz show and adding more and more cable systems. Um, Bellwick in Massachusetts got Sci-Fi um, Channel in 1997. In September at first it was offered a la carte but eventually it became part of the the regular cable system. In 1997, um, Paramount Pictures, was, which was acquired by Viacom, sold their stake in the the um, Sci-Fi Channel to USA Network. And in 1998, Star Trek, the original series, ran, we ran on Sci-Fi Channel for a seven-year exclusive run because it was in syndication. Plus, they had the Twilight Zone. And they had some horror movies and a lot of fantasy stuff. In 1999, Sci-Fi Channel was rebranded as just Sci-Fi, and they had the original logo had had it looked like the rings of uh, the planet of Saturn. In 2000s, in the early 2000s, Sci-Fi went from um, from being classic TV series and movies to getting original content with mo original sci-fi movies. They were act actually having their own sci-fi series, some low-budget stuff, plus they had original J Japanese anime. And in 2003, sci-fi developed um, a mini-series, which was a vision of the 1978-1979 series Battlestar Galactica, which got big ratings for sci-fi. And they went into a series in 2004, from 2004 to 2009. The revived version of Battlestar Galactica was some of the best acting in television of all time, and it was critically acclaimed. Around 2004, um, Sci-Fi merged with NBC, and it became NBC Universal. Took over Sci-Fi and USA Network and other networks, and NBC Universal was adding more non-Sci-Fi shows to the Sci-Fi Network, like having WWE, ECW, a lot of reality shows, which had no Sci-Fi connections, and reruns of Law and Order. There were some big rumors going around in the late 2000s that sci-fi was going to be rebranded without a sci-fi name. It was going I heard rumors it was going to be called Surge, which was basically going to be kind of almost like a alternative um, entertainment program with a mix of sci-fi, reality, and regular general entertainment programming. But and NBC Universal decided to go with Sci Fi S Y F I so they could trademark that because they cannot trademark Sci Fi. So they went from S Y F Y Sci Fi. And the Sci Fi Network continued with like original programming and going back to the um, Sci Fi and fantasy genre in the early 2010s. They still had like East, uh, they had Sm WWE Smackdown for many years, but they didn't have reruns of Law and Order and other stuff. And they've been developing more and more original TV series, which some of them are good, some of them bad. A lot of sci fi reality shows and lots more and 94.5 million homes have sci-fi and sci-fi's ratings usually get on average 
1.2 inch, which is pretty good for kind of a specialty channel in cable, which is not too many of them anymore because most of them are like kind of branded with with being some entertainment, some general stuff. And that's about it on sci-fi. I'll be back later with my third and final video blog of the night, which will be about the WWE MSG House Show card results from January 23rd, 1989. World's most famous arena. I keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Brown guy. Molly Rosenblatt of WCCO rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hart's so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome. Awesome, Amy. Linda Church of WPIX Channel of New York. Such a rocking cougar's got the best leg of New York City Pond. None. Bob Gibbs of ABC 11 has sweet southern accent. Best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. Wayne Claire of WHH Channel 7 Boston Rocks. She's got the best legs in Boston. Holly Woolley of WABI Channel 5 in Bangor, Maine is awesome. Awesome. And Christian Giantis of Fox 35 in Orlando, Florida. Rocks. And she's a Greek goddess. Goddess. Fifth best likes in Orlando, Florida. Goodbye, everybody. See you later.